Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today I will be doing a new type of video addressing a frequently asked question, how long should I study? Obviously, the amount of time required to prepare for the MCAT will differ from individual to individual, but a useful guideline is to aim for an ideal of two and a half to three months of full-time study. This is enough time for most people to be prepared without feeling overtly rushed. So if you are looking ahead and planning your summer activities and commitments, try and shoot for this ideal. This recommendation is geared towards the traditional medical school applicants, mainly university students who are writing the MCAT during the summer. The MCAT is a unique exam and it has a lot of facets that most students are not used to and it's difficult for most people to score well enough on the first try. However, once you have written the MCAT before, the experience is definitely a positive factor for people who are rewriting the exam. And having written the exam in the past, that experience factor will tend to lower preparation time by about half a month. So the ideal for rewriters should be from two to two and a half months of full-time study. Now I will discuss non-traditional applicants. For non-traditional applicants, more preparation time may be required. Non-traditional applicants may be people who have taken a year off after graduation or have been working in the workforce for a couple of years. In that time, knowledge and test-taking skills will have become rusty, so this should be taken into consideration when planning to take the MCAT. There is one additional circumstance that warrants an increase in preparation time. That is if you have a glaring weakness. If you need to improve a particular section by three or more points, then you should start your preparation early in order to give yourself enough time to make that large improvement. The last part of this video is a bit of a cautionary note. When you look online at message boards for pre-medical students, or if you're asking some friends, there will be people who claim to have studied very little and still have done amazing. And I would take these claims with a grain of salt. They may be true, or they may also be a bit of an exaggeration. But you should realize that this is not the norm and is a less than ideal situation. So in general, these claims should be disregarded because they do not represent the experience of the vast majority of MCAT writers. That's all for this video. Any suggestions, comments, or discussion is welcomed. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, keep on practicing. This is MCAT Strategy, logging off.